Stanford University. We tend to think of land as something completely separate and disconnected from our society and who we are as people. And I think one of the most important things is reestablishing that connection. We, to maintain our identity, need the environment as part of who we are, how we think, and how we ensure, looking to future generations, that we survive. We're looking to train people who can navigate between the values of the culture that they grew up in and the institutions and values of 21st century society and find a path that takes you from the past to a future in which indigenous values are not only respected, but part of the inherent way that resources are managed. These are leaders. These are people who are doing things in our communities already and who are already, have already stepped up to the plate, accepting that responsibility to be stewards, to carry on who we are. The question we challenge each fellow with is to really understand who they are. You come here and you get put outside that comfort zone and you're also free of um, those usual everyday influences that might inhibit that thinking. And so you're free to actually explore that for, for just a short time, but you learn a quite a powerful lesson. I have never been to anything like this before in my life and so it's been really eye-opening. It allows for us to grow and be able to take our projects to the next step. And I feel a lot more confident um, taking that role of a leader. The only way forward is to change the world. And changing the world means changing how people think. And infusing values of New Zealand Maori society or Alaska Native society or Native Hawaiian society or lower 48 tribal societies into the mainstream as the values of the larger society is something we all need.